everybody, welcome back to another Warrior Custom Figures video. In today's video, I shall be showing you my Injustice 2 style Brainiac figure. I say Injustice 2 style because the game allows you to customize the look of the characters, Brainiac being very much included. And since there are so many different variations of Brainiac's costume and so many different images online, I decided to take elements from what variations as I did find from images online, and go from there. The base figure was a WWE Caesar figure, which I had already previously used for my Suicide Squad Joker figure. Oh my god, what's wrong with your face? To which I proceeded to sculpt the ever-loving crap out of it, as there was a ton of sculpting involved in making the armor for Brainiac as well as his headpiece. Literally every part of this figure has sculpting and milliput on it. By the time I finally managed to get all the sculpting done, I sanded it all down with, with sandpaper for a smooth finish. As for painting, I already painted the main body purple. And when it came to the armour, I painted multiple sections either gunmetal grey or metallic purple. By the time I painted all the silver and purple on, I used multiple dry brushings in the textured armour of the figure, mainly on the chest. And when it comes to the different plating of the armour, I filled in the gaps with black paint and ink wash. There are multiple lights on Brainiac's body, so I just used regular purple for that. And I used that purple, mixed it in with silver to make the metallic pu purple you see on the rest of the body. The face was painted light green, however I used dry brushing with a darker green colour in the creases of the face as well as the shading around the eyes. Anyway, that's the long story short version of the production of this figure given how long it took for me to sculpt the armour of the figure. So in that sense, I appreciate it if you give the vi video a like, share it and subscribe if you liked it and want to see more. Also make sure to support my Patreon page in order to finance more creations and videos like this. And to also follow me on Instagram for more updates on what I'm making. All of the links will be in the description below. In any case, thank you for your time. 